Today's video is sharing my old uni projects that are unfortunately not in my portfolio. These are not my best projects, these are my worst. The first assignment I've submitted at my old university, it was all about the different types of shapes and lines. I wish I could do it all over again as it was the best module ever. However, I do like to call this phase, Russia can't be bothered to take pictures of her projects or she just throws them out phase. So that is why I don't have better pictures unfortunately. Oh god. This one was creating a model using only shapes made from a cube and I wanted to be this creative student so I decided to do abstract knowing nothing about abstract art. This is the result. I do like it. I do like that I'm using triangles even though I didn't know about my favorite architect Daniel Lipskind who does triangles and angles in architecture but I guess that's a proof that deconstructivism was always in my blood. I'm lucky enough to be able to share my project with you guys on YouTube so please do share some of your own on Facebook page or Instagram from sketches to projects, portfolio sites. A portfolio website is the easiest and quickest way to showcase your work and a website is pretty much expected these days. If you are interested in web hosting, Hostinger is a great web host for beginners. Thank you to Hostinger for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't know, Hostinger provides web hosting services with an emphasis on customer success. Comparing Hostinger to other web hosts, the shared hosting plans aren't just affordable, they are practically a steal. And to be fair and completely transparent. Renewal rates are more expensive than the introductory ones but are still very affordable and great value for the money. Hosting a user interface is easy to use, it's fast and if you have any problems with your site you can call 24-7 or use the live chat feature and you'll also get a free domain if you opt for the premium or business shared hosting plan. You should definitely keep an eye on the surviving architectural site and you should also definitely sign up, try out the service, take it for a drive and if you're not happy within 30 days, just let Hostinger know and you can get your money back. So go to www.hostinger.com slash surviving and use the code surviving to get up to 91% off of yearly web hosting plans. If that is not a good deal, I don't know what is. Now let's get into the other projects. This module was teaching us how to use Photoshop and CAD for architecture. This poster was my first ever Photoshop creation. Not bad. I actually still love it. The book cover was also using Photoshop. I'm very happy with this one. Like, look at my attention to detail. I even put a barcode. Most definitely fake, but still. I'll give myself a pat on the back for the effort, but wow. I did not know interior design, did I? I don't think it's bad considering it is my first plan render, but god, I didn't leave one color from the rainbow. Wait, uh, there's no yellow. Oh yeah, there it is, on the bed cover. So this was my first ever building. It has good merits. Uh, I'll give myself credit for my hand drawing and inking but to be honest this house was a struggle i didn't know where to start what to do like nothing you know some people are just born with skills talent and imagination yeah i wasn't apparently i thought the sky is from top to bottom like there's no ground anymore we're all living in the cloud and I remember specifically that my instructor at the time said to all of us that our perspectives are horrendous. But we were like, what? We were so shocked. But look at them now. I'm, uh, I'm actually mortified. Those are so, so bad. The model wasn't so bad. Except the fact that we have some missing windows everywhere. And it was my first, like, real project. My first model. So I'm okay. I'm gonna let that slide. This was my first ever drawing class with an easel, charcoal, proper drawing pencils and everything. I was literally living the dream. I'd say I was pretty good at it because I got good grades but I wasn't the best. Let's just say that. There were some other girls who were amazing, like beyond, beyond talented. This module was about creating an infill hidden house for a client of your choosing. I chose an artist because I'm basic and I went all out and I created this poster explaining his personality and I've also done in my sketchbook like his kind of biography, a small story. It was, it's really, really embarrassing, but I'll show you anyway. You're my friends. 
Very nice for sure. Very, very nice. So then this was my final submission. I can see improvement to my previous poster. My perspective actually looked 3D this time. Like, hello improvement. I loved my plans, the design and the sketches. I was really trying to render and do something better than the last time. And I was actually really proud of how I rendered the plans. They looked really good in my eyes. And, I, and they still do. And I was a bit annoyed at my lecture because she said they looked like interior design. Can architects do both? At least give me some credit for going the extra mile. This was the model for it. I've never been good at models, I just don't have the patience for it and I still don't really so. With models, I'm, I'm like, it's fine. In the second semester of this module, we had our first group project and first project ever in CAD. So definitely things were hectic. We were three girls, all with different time management skills, design philosophies and styles. So we didn't get along at all. The other girl on the team, she kept changing the concept, the plan and everything. And we just got into a huge argument and it was just getting too stressful that she actually decided to talk to the instructor to leave our group. So... In the end, it was just me and another girl, last minute, trying to get a project to just present. So needless to say that it wasn't amazing. I love this module, just testing out colors and different techniques. So we always did quick sketches before doing our final. So this assignment was taking the color scheme of an image and then using those colors to render a plan, interior elevation and perspective with markers. I had to be smart and well, I was a cheapskate, I still am, because I chose the colors or the markers that I already had, so I didn't have to buy any more. I also tried different techniques of blending and glazing to try to get the colors to match. Not all of them matched exactly, but I still really loved the end result and I got a really good grade on that one. Here we were tasked with experimenting with watercolors and as always creating some process sheets. So basically this is a perspective of a building image from Pinterest. The final looks horrendous to be honest. I think I thought the watercoloring wasn't good enough or... I don't know really, I just went back with color pencil to add some detail but I just went overboard, get it? Watercolor, overboard. <laughs> this one was one of my favorite projects or assignment from this module. It's kind of the same assignment as the one before only with ink. This one was in fact in my portfolio but I kind of cheated a bit. I added a bit of contrast and more shadows to try to reflect the original image. We had an angel. Dr. Ahlam Sharif. She had just recently transferred to our university and she was the best. She finally taught us how to design and made us do all those precedent sheets and I finally thought I was learning something thanks to her and we are still in good contact even after all of those years. I wish her all the best. Thank you so much Dr. Ahlam from the bottom of my heart for everything that you have done for me and my classmates. So hello poster, this was my midterm finally getting somewhere with design and presentation skills. I even remember my friends were really impressed by it so that made me really happy. Then I think we had two months before submitting the final which was this. Definitely a massive massive improvement but I just hate the background like why? I don't think it's that bad but I think I think it was that bad so I was trying to cover it with the background but I'm not sure. One of the best ways to end my second year and end my studies at this university before moving to the UK. I had to include this one, although this was my first assignment in my current university, but just like, you know, to show you that I can draw because I feel like my reputation has been thrown in the mud today. You can actually listen to this presentation on this channel and I will have it linked in the cards for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed our walk through memory lane. As you can see, I wasn't the best starting, but I'm getting better. I don't think I am the best now, I'm just an average person trying to survive architecture, but... I can definitely say that I am the best version of myself and that is what matters. Please watch my portfolio videos to see my best projects because I feel really embarrassed right now. I'll have it linked in the cards for you and let me know in the comments which project was your favorite, if any. I'm Risha Shururu and I will see you next time.